will be a shootout competition after that, so we'll tell you about that as we're coming along here with the score tied four to four, Admirals and the visitors. These penalties extremely costly for the Admirals, these two five-minute penalties. Uh, Greenberg getting that five minutes for butt ending, which is a thing that no one should ever do in the hockey game. And I don't, uh, I can't understand him doing a thing like that, but he was given a five minute penalty, injured one of the players actually, uh, and uh, there was a goal scored on that. There was a five minute uh, penalty in the, in the second period that a goal was scored on also. So, so the shots on goal in the first period, the shots on goal, the Admirals 21, Erie 10, and uh, Erie outshot the Admirals in the second period, 13 to 11, and the Admirals outshot Erie in the third period, 14 to 13. So the shots on goal, Admirals certainly outshooting the, uh, the uh, Panthers to the tune of 46 to 34. So that's uh, a good margin in shots on goal, and they certainly had the play on the uh, on the uh, Panthers here in this game. Here he had two goals here in the third period at 122, McDougal for Kittingham and uh, uh, Stockburn. And at 11.03, here he again, Legros from Belusi and Begulion. So that, uh, that tied it up. The penalties in this period, there were not too many in the third period. Uh, Erie had two penalties. McDougal for slashing at uh, the five-minute mark. At uh, 8.39, Erie had uh, a slashing penalty. And the Admirals, McEwen for slashing. Uh, and that was at 8.39. So they're getting ready for the overtime. It's going to be a five-minute overtime period. And uh, then we'll start talking about uh, shootouts after that. This is the first time we've had an overtime period uh, uh, at Scope. The score tied four to four, and uh, not a soul leaving here as the referee is getting ready to face the puck off at center ice. From center ice, it's taken there by the Panthers. They shoot it in, and Admirals take over, number 20. Number 20, Martin, shoots it on the right side to Buckley. Buckley, in turn, gets it over there to Strip. Oh, and he takes a shot, and that was just wide. And it's in behind the net as the Admirals putting on some pressure, trying to dig that puck out as Malone. Malone trying to get it away, and the, and the Panthers shoot it all the way down right to the doorstep of Ramon. In behind the net, Buckley has it. Buckley just starting to come away behind his own net. A pass over to Martin. Martin starting to come away. He can move down at center ice over that line. Tried to feed it ahead there. Oh, and a try right in front there by Martin. Oh, and another try by Strip as they're right in front of that net. And a great opportunity for Strip as he almost popped her in with four minutes and 12 seconds remaining in this overtime period. That's a uh, five minute overtime period. The scores tie four to four. This exciting hockey action coming to you on WTAR. Here come the Admirals down over center ice in the live action, and the Panthers take it away again. Bergeron has it. He tried to feed it up there in turn to Legros. Legros just shot it wide of the net and taken by the Admirals. Flanagan in behind his own net. A pass up there to McEwen. McEwen tried that long lead pass over there to Malone. It was too far for him to handle, and he picks it up again. Flanagan. Flanagan drives it over there to Buckley. Buckley, in turn, pass it up to Lukey. Lukey tried to feed it in there for Malone. And the Panthers take over. Panthers try to come out of their own zone. Admirals take it in there again. It's taken there in front of that net by Lukey. Oh, and pass. Oh, a shot right there by Buckley. And that was not wide. As the Admirals putting on some pressure in behind that net. Malone has it. He tried to feed it out there to Lukey. Lukey tried a shot. And the Admirals, Malone. Had another chance at it. It gets right out in front of that net. And the Panthers thought it was too hot to handle in there and shot it all the way down the ice. No icing on the call as it's in behind the net taken by Buckley. Buckley starts to come out of his own zone. He's at the spot down at center ice. And he loses it to Winky who shoots it back into the Admiral zone. In behind the net goes Raymond. And he tips it up there and turn taken there by Hood. Hood coming down, an intended pass over to Strip, and it was knocked off his stick. As it's just laying loose in front of that net and back into center ice as the Panthers start to come away. Panthers 
Lost it. And the Admirals pick it up again. Here is taken by McEwen. McEwen, a pass over there to Hood. Hood trying to center it away. Hose in front of that net. And they just couldn't uh, materialize on that on that opportunity. Coming down on the right side again. Here are the Panthers coming in on the right side. McDougal. And they're in front of that net. Oh, another try. McDougal. And number 14, Gaber. And I've never seen such a goal-tending move. As Ramo came over on the right side and saved what was a sure goal. That was a sure goal in that play. Admirals will be getting the gate. There was definitely a charging penalty there. But I'll tell you one thing, the Admirals are lucky to be still in this game because that was a great opportunity for the Panthers as they had a great chance in front of that net. It was almost an empty net and all of a sudden Raymond came out of nowhere and grabbed out of the box. So the Admirals are in a tough position now with one minute and 54 seconds remaining in the overtime period. They're gonna be down for the remaining part of this overtime, one man. And the power play will be put on by Erie from the power play. It goes back to the point. Taken by Doucette. Doucette takes a shot. It's wide. Goes back to the point. Kitteringham have has it. He tried to center it away. And Ramal comes dangerously out of his own net. But they shoot it down the ice. It's all the way down into the Panther zone. 135 remaining in this overtime period. And here come the Panthers. Down at center ice. Ferguson has it. Ferguson puts the brakes on. A pass over the right side to look to Lagarde, and the Admirals start to come away. Led by McEwen, and he shot it down to center right, where it's taken by McDougal. He tried to get away. Admirals have it again. McEwen at center right, and he shot it wide of the net. And Barnett leaves it there for his defense mate. McDougal, McDougal, starting to come away on the right side. Bergeron has it. Bergeron, a pass over to the front of that net to Chris, and it's shot all the way down it's still back in that zone. Here in front of that net. Oh, a driving shot and a good save. Another try by the Panthers. And another try by the Panthers. And they had some great chances. As the Admirals, Alain Ramon, saved the day there on two or three great opportunities by the Panthers. Ramon is, uh, has been startling here in the in this overtime period. Now remember, the pressure is being put on by the Panthers because there's still 54 seconds remaining in that penalty, so they're going to be short-handed here for the next, until the rest of the period is over, or the rest of the overtime period. So there's going to be a timeout, and I don't know whether Erie or, uh, or timeout for the Admirals as uh, John Brophy wants to get the players cool and collected again and, uh, and see if they can keep uh, that uh, pressure on by the Panthers that the Panthers are putting on uh, in this 42 seconds. This hockey broadcast of Admirals Hockey coming to you on WTAR. face off it's taken at the center ice zone admiral's trying to come away there's gagne gagne coming down over that line oh a try there to malone and malone took a shot that was just knocked wide panthers starting to come out of their own zone led there by number seven mcdougall he's coming across a pass there to strombach strombach trying to center it away it's in behind the net here he have it McDougal on the right side, a drive there by Coombe, and a nice shot, nice save by Rimho, again, as the Admirals have really had some pressure put on them here in this overtime period. There's 15 seconds remaining in the third period, and we have a player down, uh, one of the Admirals, down and behind uh, Rimho with 15 seconds remaining in the period, in the overtime period, the score four to four. And then the shootout will uh, will start after that, where it's uh, very exciting as a player will take the puck almost on a breakaway at center ice, one for each side. 
and they will have the opportunity to try to score in the goaltender. And uh, it's something that has uh, come into hockey here in the in the last while. That's number 17, Flanagan down, just inside the just inside the goal creased area actually. And uh, he's getting back up again. He's getting up slow, extremely slow, but uh, he, uh, they're tough, as I say, and, uh, and uh, something like this, he's uh, had the wind knocked out of him, I'm sure. There are trainers out there also and helping him up there. And uh, while we're waiting uh, to get that player over the bench, uh, this hockey broadcast of Admiral's Hockey coming to you on WTAR. Out of Raymond in the Admiral's zone. The face-off going to be taken there by Hood, Murray Hood, number 12. Hood is facing off in there with Doucette. Remember now, there's 15 seconds remaining in this overtime period. And the Admirals are one man down. It's taken by the Admirals. They're trying to get it out of their own zone. Hood has it. He passed it in behind the net. Remo. And Remo shoots it all the way down into the center ice zone. Where it's taken there by Harp. Harp in turn. A pass over to Nick Dougal. He shakes a blistering shot. Boy, that was a hard shot. And that ended the overtime period. And that was a blister as he came over that blue line. And it just went wide. And Remo just got his tip of his toe on it, actually. So now we're going to be having the shootout, and it's going to be in center ice. The uh, score is tied 4-4. Four to four. They've gone through their five-minute overtime period. Nothing happened there. And now they're going to see exactly what happened. So we're going to be giving you the play-by-play -play of, the, of the actual... Uh, breakaways type of thing which they call a shootout where a player takes the puck at center ice he'll go all the way in on the goaltender and try to score and then of course the opposition have the opportunity of of doing the same thing at the other end so it's uh it's exciting it's something new that's been in hockey in the past uh, seven or eight years he's taking that puck at center ice over the blue line coming right down. he takes oh and a beautiful save by Ramon as he tried on that short side a nice play by McDougal. And equally a nice play by Raymond. That was a fancy play by McDougal as he tried on that short side. But uh, here we come again. Here are the Admirals coming. Martin. Martin at the blue line. He picks the puck up at center right. Comes over that line. Coming right in. He shoots. Oh, and it just went off Barnett's glove and high into the spectators. So there were two good plays, both sides. Linesman take the puck back to center ice again. This is excitement at its most. That was a beautiful play earlier by McDougal. And a next one play by Ramon. And here comes number 13, Harp, coming down, coming right in on Ramon. He takes a shot, and it went off Ramon's glove. And hit the glass. This is my favorite, Gagne. Gagne is going to come in on Barnett. Here's Gagne at the blue line. Down over center right. Down over that blue line. He winds up. He scores! Gagne!
crazy here. What a finale to a full house. Here come the Admirals. Number 19 is getting a chance. Strip, Wayne Strip. And he comes. He picks the puck up at center right. Here he comes to Barnett. Coming across that line. He takes a shot. Woo! And Barnett didn't know whether that went in or not. It got caught underneath his pad. Here's center right. Here's number 15, Strombach. Strombach is going to start coming in on Ramal. He takes one turn. He's going to build up some speed. Here he comes. That's center ice in front of Remo. Coming right in on front of Remo. He takes a shot. And he scores. He scores. And that's one to one. On the shootout. Okay. Here's number 12, Hood. Murray Hood. And here's Murray Hood. At center ice. Murray Hood coming down to Barnett. Over that line. He scores. Let's review what exactly happened. 